Alright, so I put up a video for Hunter's Arena Legends earlier today, or actually yesterday by the time you guys see this. I thought I'd show some gameplay. Yeah, this game's actually pretty cool. This is the only Battle Royale I've ever played, and obviously this is the only one I would ever really be interested in, because <laughs> it's it's not just shooters. I don't like shooters. The game is also quite active, too, with the, uh, the PvE mechanic, meaning that it's not like most Battle Royales where you camp around in a house and then get shot and then do it again. <laughs> this game is actually quite active. There's actually a, uh, a pretty major rush to actually fight a lot of the uh, the PvE content to level up and get better gear. So I'm not like really that good at this game because uh, right now the biggest problem with this game, I'm going to sound like a broken record, everybody who's been playing this and has not refunded it has basically said the same thing. The game is fun. Uh, it has a lot of potential. It's definitely uh, not as polished as it should be, but that's why they're doing early access. It's just that it's hard to play because there's not that many people playing. Uh, Battle Royales are, in general, pretty hard to get into because they, you know, they need to make, you need to have a thousand people on or more. You need to have thousands on basically to make the game even function. Uh, this game does have a system where if you're waiting for too long, uh, it will actually start with less than the max amount of players, but you can still be waiting for a really long time. So uh, I don't know if I can really recommend the game in its current state. Uh, there is like a versus mode with uh, actual tag combos, which I have not tried yet. So obviously, you don't need dozens of people to start that. So some people have been playing that for now. Anyway, I'll go over some of the basics here. Uh, this game actually has pretty decent controller support. Some mappings are off. It's definitely probably a lot harder to use than keyboard and mouse for people who play a lot of other games like this. But since it's a melee-focused game, uh, you're definitely a combo-focused game. You might want to actually use a controller. So you got a basic attack, a string, pretty standard stuff. And you have four moves, and then you have a fifth one that you can unlock when you reach level 20, uh, which I have not, I have not gotten far enough in the game without dying to get that yet. <laughs> Well, basically, when you start, you will have one skill point, and you can unlock one uh, one move, and then you can get a total of four. There are level prerequisites for them as well. You also have this burst thing. It's pretty cool. You can also dash cancel, but there's a significant amount of recovery on it. Uh, some people have been complaining about that. There also is a stamina bar as well. Uh, doesn't really seem like it's that much of an issue. I find it to drain more during uh, just sprinting than regular combat. You also have a martial arts button. Uh, supposedly this breaks your guard. You can also use it as a launcher for some characters like this guy. So there's no like restands. There are like little OTG combos you can do, but that's about it. So let's go ahead and show uh, a combo like the one I did earlier today, or yesterday. So let's do his S string. Cancel with the martial arts. Do his chain attack, which keeps him in hit stun. One martial arts attack launcher. That almost killed him. Oh wow, it did. <laughs> uh, characters have varying amounts of health. Uh, attack speed and properties on their moves. So on this guy, the, the thief guy, it's like 100% combo. Now in the actual game, there is like also a burst mechanic, and you can also counter people. So let's go ahead and show some of the mechanics via the tutorial. The tutorial I actually can't finish because it's bugged on the controller, <laughs> but I can show some of the mechanics here. One of the worst things about this game is guarding. Uh, guarding is mapped to the same button, kind of like a mobile game or something. Uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, a lot of people have been complaining about that. You can't really guard uh, at will. You have to basically put out a whiff attack, which feels kind of awkward. Guard Crush, pretty standard stuff. If you've ever played any <laughs> any game of the Guard Crush system, no different here. So martial arts guard break. Stop! 
So if they do a martial arts attack, and you counter with it, you'll stun them and you can get a combo. That's pretty cool. So you, inevitably, you'll probably die in that situation. <laughs> so you can dash cancel like I showed earlier. Here's your little low TG attack. Can't get anything off it. Make up attack. Here's burst. You see, these mechanics are actually quite unique, especially for a game like this. There's so many battle royales, and they're all just generic shooters. I think this actually feels uh, very unique. It's just that there's not that many people playing it, which is the main issue right now. Alright, so let's make an attempt to get a match. <laughs> I, I honestly mean that. The game just came back up from maintenance, so there's going to be even less people playing it than before. I gave them some suggestions. Uh, the people that, that run the company, or at least do the, uh, the social media representation, are actually really nice people. Uh, they've taken all the feedback to heart. They, they've patched this game, like, I think, like, four times in the past few days. It's barely been out for a week. So, <laughs> I think that, actually, it hasn't even been out for a week, so I think that they have uh, the potential to have something good here. It's just the problem is that there's just not enough people playing. Uh, you can spend a lot of time waiting. Uh, I don't really know much about Battle Royales other than the fact that, you know, you need thousands of people playing them uh, concurrently to really make them function since you can die so quickly and there's permadeath and everything. Uh, that's definitely one of the main issues. But I think that the, the combat is actually quite good. Uh, there are some things that are jank about it, like having to hold the button down to guard and things like that. But those are things that will be get fixed in due time. Uh, they definitely listen to the feedback. Uh, one of the things I suggested was that maybe they have some kind of free branch of the game, like a free version, which has like the typical free-to-play game limitations, like uh, having characters locked and ha having people grind for them, but then having the paid version basically give you all current and future characters. Uh, some games have done that, and they found some success. Uh, I know the Battle Royale genre is just so bloated, and uh, you know the, the main games are all kind of the same thing in some ways. They're all shooters. Uh, obviously, the mechanics greatly differ between them, but they're all shooters. This game is kind of cool how it's uh, trying to do something different. And I think it does it quite well for the most part. I actually like the PvE. Uh, the only problem with the PvE is that the enemies are like... Worse than Dynasty Warriors peons. <laughs> Dynasty Warriors peons at least die quickly. Uh, these these uh, PvE enemies, they definitely take a long time to die. And you basically have to fight them to uh, get good gear at the beginning. Uh, what a lot of people are doing right now is they're all rushing the dungeons because the dungeons have bosses that drop crazy loot and you can also level up a lot faster there. However, since other people are going to be bum rushing it, you're going to be spending uh, a lot of time dying and just getting destroyed pretty quickly. But on the other hand, it's nice how you're actually encouraged to, to always be active in this game. One of the things in Battle Royales, I have a friend in real life who's played a lot of Battle Royales uh, both currently and in the past and you spend a lot of time just camping around in houses and, and waiting and then you get shot and then you go and you do it again which I've never really found to be interesting <laughs> as a gameplay mechanic and here you're actually encouraged to interact with the uh, the AI enemies which I think is pretty cool what do you need so you start with a thousand gold so I think I'll grab uh, grab this one So here's all the stuff you can unlock. Stuff is actually quite good. And then you have your your actives. So for level 1, you generally want to get your launcher so that in the event that you actually do uh, come in contact with the human player, and then you'll have the ability to at least start some kind of combo on them. And then as you level up more, uh, you'll get more skill points and you can put them into the other moves. Uh, all this stuff is not persistent, so generally have to. Uh, that's how I've been playing anyway. I'm not really an expert on this game. I, I haven't even killed a single player yet, but uh, generally you want to get all your moves as soon as possible, so you have more options. And then also you have your passive tree. So 
cool stuff in here. Damage up. Okay, so looks like a game might actually start soon. I think if we get to 40 players. Optimization is hit or miss. Uh, it's definitely better than when I played the open beta. Uh, I played the open beta for this. They were nice enough to give me a key. And uh, I just was never really able to feature it on the channel because the optimization was bad. Uh, right now, it seems to mostly be lagging uh, in this lobby here when you have a lot of people. Even with my relatively powerful computer, which I just upgraded earlier in the summer, uh, I can't get a locked 60 FPS here. However, when I get into the actual game, it seems to be locked at 60 FPS for the most part. A lot of people have been complaining about it. Also, when you're in close proximity to other players, uh, it can be laggy. Seems like the net code is not that great. But those are things that they seem to be working on. Uh, the developers have pretty much responded to almost every uh, review, even the negative ones. It seems like they're really passionate about it. I think they just need to get better marketing. Uh, they need to get the word out. Uh, I don't know if paying streamers would be the best option right now, simply because I think a lot of what would happen is stuff like this, where you're just standing around and kind of in like walking sim mode and you can't really play. Uh, I definitely gave them a lot of suggestions. I was the one that suggested uh, both a free week weekend and a like a free version of the game where people can unlock the characters with like in-game currency and then have a paid version with all the characters. I think that would be the best way to save this game. It seems like most people actually really like playing it. It's just that it's so hard to do so right now. I'm hoping that I can get into a game, but <laughs> right now it's not looking too good. I did explain the base mechanics, so I'll wait a little bit longer. I think one thing they could do to at least partially rectify the situation without any massive changes to the monetization is just make it so that uh, maybe you could set the lobby to start at like 10 or 20 players or something. Now, that would both make the game shorter and would make it a lot easier to get back into a new one since they don't have the player base to keep this game functioning. Uh, I, I find it odd that people are still making battle royales because it's, it's just such a hard genre to break into. You know, not only do you have to beat juggernauts like Player Unknown and Call of Duty Warzone and then uh, Fortnite, you have to <laughs> also have thousands of people on so that people don't get to a situation like this where you're just kind of standing around and waiting, which feels extra frustrating when you die. So maybe the game will start soon. Uh, generally what you want to do after that is you want to go here and you buy a glider and that is where you choose uh, where you're going to spawn uh, once the map actually starts. So what a lot of people are doing right now is they're going to the dungeons and trying to get a bunch of experience but depending on how your luck is you might get uh, you might get ganked by a lot of people in there and probably won't make it. So uh, I'm not really sure how much the strategy really works. Uh, I haven't really gotten that far. I almost got a kill earlier today but Somebody else joined and uh, kind of ruined the party there. <laughs> Hopefully it will start when we get to 40 players. It's kind of unclear uh, how this actually works. I guess like if you wait for a certain period of time, it will just start anyway. I feel like it should just start at a lower amount of players right now so that people can actually get in and actually do something. I actually feel it's kind of good to, to not edit this out. I have the option of just editing this out in post-production, but I think I'm going to leave it like this so that people don't get, uh, they don't get attracted by the gameplay and then think that they can play right away. It's definitely an issue. Uh, the game just did go down for maintenance, so a lot of people that were logged on probably logged off when they're doing other things. They were only down for an hour, so that's probably part of it too. You can see how frustrating this is. The game looks nice. I like the character designs. Uh, they do feel objectively Asian, but they're not like Asian to the point that they would uh, turn off somebody who doesn't like Asian character designs. They all look pretty cool. They're not all Bishonens. <laughs> they're not all Bishonens and lollies like a lot of Asian games. They have some pretty gruff characters in this game, so I think the character design, for what it's worth, is actually quite good. It helps that they're very realistic looking, too, so... That's generally a factor as well. They're not all like anime styled or anything. Like I see no reason why it shouldn't just start the game right now. <laughs> This is the kind of stuff that's making people refund, unfortunately. 
I don't want to refund the game. I really believe in this game. I think that it does have a chance. It's just that they have their work cut out of them. And I think that they made some pretty bad decisions at the start. Uh, mainly charging $20 for it, I think, is what's killing this game right now. Uh, I don't mind paying for it because there's no loot box nonsense for characters. You know, you just have everybody unlocked at the start. Uh, there is one character who is unlocked by completing the tutorial, but other than that, you have everything and the only monetization is all just cosmetics. Uh, I think making the game free probably would have meant it would have had to have the standard free-to-play, you know, BS monetization, like loot boxes for characters and things like that. But I think ideally the, uh, the option I suggested to them, to one of their community managers, would probably be the best way to save this game moving forward. Alright, hopefully <laughs> it will start soon. I don't want to end the, the video with no gameplay. I did show the majority of the mechanics, I did show a combo, but showing gameplay right now is kind of a problem. Apparently they did have a lot of people playing on release day, but they're streaming the game, but it was mostly just waiting around like this, which is not fun. Come on, people, join! <laughs> this is frustrating. There's all these people waiting and the game just won't start. This is why they definitely should have had a free option and they should have done better marketing. So all these people obviously want to play, but literally can't right now. The game is unplayable. It's a good example of how uh, all the characters are not just standard Asian Bishonins or, <laughs> or lollies or whatever. Got some pretty gruff looking characters. This guy doesn't really look like the kind of character you would generally see in a, uh, a paid, paid like Asian game. <laughs> Panda's pretty badass too. I actually haven't tried most of the other characters yet. Uh, I've mostly just been playing with this guy because I got a, a good bread and butter down. All right, 40 players. Can we please start? <laughs> All right, starting to climb up slowly. This is pretty aggravating. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, show the gameplay. I guess I just picked a bad time to play this. It just came back from maintenance. Alright, here we go. Gameplay. <laughs> I'm probably going get, to get killed pretty quickly, but I should at least be able to show the gameplay loop. It all depends on uh, how many people rush whichever dungeon I choose. So generally when the match starts, you want to uh, kind of hover around seconds. the glider merchant. You have a minute after the match actually starts before the enemies will spawn and you can actually engage in combat. The gates are now the time. To go. Let's go ahead and try down here. Flying out. I like how how uh, this game's whole aesthetic is really cool. It's like realistic, and it's like kind of a nondescript Asian theme. Like it's not quite Korean. This is a Korean developed game, but it's not quite Korean or Chinese or Japanese. It just kind of like encompasses a lot of Asian culture, which I think is pretty cool. Gives it more of a wide appeal. It doesn't look objectively like one kind of Korean style game. Okay, so let's go straight to the mine. Get over there before the battle actually starts. Let the battle begin. Day is breaking. All right.
Yep. <laughs> oh man. Run. Even get to level up once. Yeah. Unlucky. Who knew this would come in handy? The next safe area has been secured. See what I mean about these guys basically just being HP sponges? It's kind of unfortunate. But they've gotten a lot of complaints about the, uh, the PvP aspect of the game. PvE, I mean. Let's uh, see if that guy is cleared out or not. I think there was only that one guy over here, so no idea if he's still there. He may have actually left. Yeah, and my stamina come back for a little bit. Well, luckily, there's no stamina for attacking. It's only uh, it's only for like dashing, dashing and sprinting. Damage for a simple misstep. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, get out! No. <laughs> ah, crap. I don't know how to get out. I'm way on the edge of the map, so I guess that's the downside. I need to move in farther. So the mine is off limits. They move in more. I need to get a pretty safe distance away because uh, the barrier is closing pretty fast. 
I want to fight these guys and hit level 10, but I am uh, barely outrunning <laughs> the. I need to take a quick breather. Barely outrunning the barrier right now. Stamina needs to come back faster. The next safe area has been secured. I need to take a quick breather. Well, I need to take a quick breather. <laughs> well, at least you got to see some gameplay. I think I made a uh, pretty poor choice there. I didn't, uh, I didn't power up quickly enough. Anyway, that's going to do it for now. I actually want to go get something to eat. And uh, like I said, this game is barely, just barely functioning right now because of all the, the waiting involved. But yeah, hopefully I'll get my first kill soon. Uh, I'm not going to refund this game simply because I actually am enjoying it. Uh, definitely something I could see myself playing. It's just that uh, they have their work cut out for them in terms of marketing it and actually getting people to play. And... Uh, I think they'll probably have to change the monetization uh, as soon as possible at this point. Uh, they just don't have enough people playing for this game to really function. Uh, maybe next time I'll go ahead and I'll try tag mode. So you can actually switch between characters like Orochi Orochi style. I haven't tried that yet. Maybe that will be the next video. With that said, hope you enjoyed the overview. I actually did get to a game relatively quickly, but uh, people are not exaggerating when they say it could take ages to get to a game right now. Uh, like I said, I gave them the best suggestions they could. Seems like they're committed to fixing the game, uh, but a lot of it is mostly just getting people to actually play. And, uh, that's easier said than done, especially when you have a $20 price tag and all the other competing games are free, uh, even though all those games are pretty much all shooters. <laughs> this game is actually quite unique in how it controls and plays and everything. Uh, I haven't had that much actual active combat in this game yet. Uh, it definitely I was at a disadvantage there because I was at low health and I had no stamina, so I couldn't do much, but that's all my fault because I, I stayed around the end, the edge of the map for too long. So with that said, I'm going to sign off and maybe I'll do another game later. Peace.